Hey what's up guys, how are you doing? Welcome to this Statilio introduction to Windows 10. Microsoft has officially stopped security updates in Windows 7. Microsoft's aim when building Windows 10 was all about fixing the mess that they made in Windows 8 and 8.1. So you are left with Windows 10 as one of the best options. And if you choose to use this operating system, you need to know your way around. Windows 10 is a realization of Microsoft's big dream to have a single Windows that runs across all its products. Windows 10 now comes back with a start button which was missing in Windows 8. This makes it easy to explore the installed applications. When you successfully log in to Windows 10, there is a good chance you'll be taken to the desktop. The desktop will have the Windows 10 logo. You might also find some files or applications icons. Below the desktop is the taskbar. The taskbar will house the start button to the left. It is from here that you can start programs. The programs or applications will be displayed in as both a list and as tiles. To start a program, simply click the start button, scroll to find the app that you want to start and click to launch it. You can easily create a tile by simply right clicking on the desired program icon and choose Paint to start. The interesting thing is that you can even reorder the tiles the way you want. You may want to have those that you use more frequently appear first. If you want, you can also group them. To group them, simply drag and drop a tile on top of each other. Container will also be found in the taskbar. The container is a new Microsoft Windows feature that helps you to talk to your computer to perform different tasks or just for fun. When does summer begin? Summer began on Saturday, June 20th, 2020 and ends on Tuesday, September 22nd, 2020. Hey Contana, tell me a joke. Who's the roundest knight at King Arthur's court? Circumference. You need to be connected to the internet to use this feature. Tax view helps keep track of your activities for the last 30 days. You can easily get back to the tax uh, by just clicking the task view in the tax bar. Locate the thumbnail showing the task you want to recover. At the middle of the taskbar, you will find icons of various pinned or learning applications. The notification area will be found in the rightmost part of the taskbar. You may find icons showing the status of network, volume, and battery. The time and date according to your system will also be shown. Push notifications will also be managed in the notification center. To open the notification area, simply click this icon. You will see all the recent notifications. You can adjust the brightness of your device if you are using a laptop. You may want to customize your device so it feels, behaves and works the way you want. Windows 10 comes with a new app that will help you do exactly that, the settings app. The settings app just work like the control panel, however, the settings app has a more modernized look and feel. Looks like Microsoft wants to do away with the control panel but in a more gradual way. Some of the settings that were previously performed in control panel will now open in the settings app. 
To open the settings app, simply click the start button. The app is represented by a gear symbol, so simply click the settings gear to launch it. When open, you will see the settings interface which is easy to navigate. As there are a couple of settings you can do, the settings app has the things you can set in various groups. Say for instance you want to set the date and time. Open the settings application then click time and language which opens to more settings in that group. This includes the date and time, region and language and also speech. For the sake of this video, I'll focus on setting the system data and time. Luckily, Windows will set the time automatically. However, you can still do this manually. For this to work, you need to have the set time automatically feature turned off using this toggle button. This activates the change button under the set uh, date and time manually. Click the change button. This opens to a new window. Click the drop down on the various fields. And click change when done. If you find it hard to perform a certain setting, simply head on to the search bar and search whatever you want. Different suggestions will be displayed depending on the search you entered. Simply click the suggestion that match your search. Folders are a great way to manage your files. To create a folder on the desktop, simply click on an empty space on the desktop, select New, and then Folder. The newly created folder will appear in a name New Folder. But what's amazing is that you can give it a meaningful name anytime. At this point, if the text still appears in blue background, simply type your preferred name. Otherwise, right click it and select the name. When the text appears in the blue background, simply type your preferred folder name. In human computer interaction and user interface design, cut, copy and paste are related commands that offer an inter-process communication technique for transferring data through a computer's user interface. The cut command removes the selected data from its original position, while the copy command creates a duplicate. In both cases, the selected data is kept in a temporary storage, called the clipboard. The data from the clipboard is later inserted to wherever the paste command is issued. Now, let's go back to that folder that we created earlier and put some files on it, using the cut and paste as well as copy and paste. Let's get the basics right first. Before you copy and paste, you need to know what you want to copy and where you want to copy it. So for our case, we want to copy this file and paste it in this folder. To start, right click the file and select copy. Move to the folder, right click it and select paste. The file will be moved as you can notice, but still we can but still we have a copy of the same on the desktop. If you would like to move the file completely to the folder, so you don't have a, another copy, you would want to use the cut and paste. To cut and paste, simply right click the file and select cut this time round. Right click the folder and select paste. 